Greetings everyone And I welcome you all back to even more of my Dragon Age 2 adventures with Artemy Hawk So, I personally strongly believe that we are at the very end of the game and we are about to venture to our final destination. Like, I don't know how much of that left, but seriously... That's pretty much it from what you told me guys and from what I know uh, I'm literally at the very end of the game and you know there are a couple quests left but for me seriously fuck them and I will tell about that a little part more hopefully uh, by the end of today's session and once again, I managed to get even more of the free time, like finally I'm starting to adapt and like squeeze the free time out of the spores and make the most use of it. But with that in mind, let's not waste any more time. So without anything else in mind, let us begin our final ventures and for such matter I should consider my options like really carefully since this is important since it's gotta be all around uh, mage slash templars issue all this time I think uh, it would be wise to bring Fenris over Isabella on, not not Isabella, Aveline on that matter. Like, yeah, she is a great tank and she helped me quite a lot uh, during the Mark of the Assassin, but I'm taking Fenris, like, more from the story perspective and the Hawk's perspective like he definitely is gonna be a main asset in here in terms of my confrontation with mages and possibly the Templars I'm definitely taking Meryl since it's gotta show her it's got it's probably gotta show her uh, the side of the mages especially the blood mages that she will have to see if she uh, will ever uh, I'll say be revoked from that bloody curse of hers and I think the third one I will bring Varric with me he is a nice friend of mine always cheerful and also his uh, crossbow will do me uh, quite a lot of uh, quite a huge favor in clearing up the mess in terms it has to be like that so that's how I think it's gotta be so the last straw the last stretch that's uh, pretty much literally how I read it at this point and I took some time off screen to sell off all of the champion thank the maker you've come what's happened First Enchanter Orsino got into a terrible argument with the Knight Commander. He stormed off to bring the matter before the Grand Cleric, but the Knight Commander gave chase. I fear there will be blood. Wonderful. Take me to them. Ah, and right off the bat, 
the shit is hitting the fan. But literally it was all about that I sold off all the junk and bought some potions, so I shouldn't be worried about that matters during the recording. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You cannot do that. You have no right. I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. No wonder that I never saw it begin. Seriously, enough before it gets out of hand. Like, I... I'm, I'm not seeing this as the joking matter at this point, seriously. This needs to stop. Well, look who decided to show up. This does not involve you, champion. I called him here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. There are more blood mages? Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The champion knows better than anyone how deep the circle's corruption goes. I must find the source. Seriously, you gotta bring me again in here. Plus, I never was in the circle and I am proud of it. But seriously, this fighting needs to stop. Like... Yes, I am with the Templars, but, you know, to the... To the limit, like, uh, I'm not... Hawk is not intending to become uh, the Zealot, especially after what he saw that both Templars and the Mages are not saints, literally. But seriously, this fighting needs to stop. You both set quite the example for your people. You know that. What other option do we have? Tell me, champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. First of all, this is definitely not an option. I uh, do not... Uh, I do not... Still do not consider myself to be a... Uh, like, you know, super mage Like, yes, yes, I, I am a mage, I have a gift of it, but I literally still do not uh, like to be talked about being a mage. And I'm definitely not, uh, like, you know, going in their group and like you know spreading my hands uh, around them like I'm their uh, leader of the majors and said hey we're not the same look around so that's not an option <sighs> you're right I am with the Templars, but the different thing is I'm not supporting uh, your zealous emeritus, so that's no excuse. They're not the only ones that lie and seek power. Exactly. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it, but we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. 
This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric uh, cannot help you. Ha. Uh, Explain yourself, uh, mage. Hi. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminal, while those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to Ooh. see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why did you come back? For this? I removed the chance of compromise. Because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the circle is to be executed. Immediately! The circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her help us stop this madness! And I demand you stand with us. Even you must see that this outrage cannot be tolerated. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. <sighs> you know what's the most frustrating? Why he is still alive? Why he is not lying on the ground with the agony foaming and saying his last words right now? That's my main question. Why am I listening and speaking with him while he already should be dead? <sighs> I should have killed him when I was the mirror back then, if that was the possibility. That's definitely not gonna be... I seriously do not even want to talk to him about this. 